All right, thanks, guys. The Golden Knights take on the Blue Jackets, 7 o'clock Eastern, puck drop in Columbus. The Golden Knights are minus 140, totals at 6. Haven't seen any movement on this total. We did see a nickel move toward Vegas in the early wagering. The Golden Knights open $1.35 up to 140, totals at 6. 70% of the consensus are leaning toward Vegas, 69% shaded toward the over. Right now, Columbus is plus 130 on the money line. Vegas plus $1.85 on the puck line. We have Marc-Andre Fleury for the Golden Knights. Junis Corposalo for the Blue Jackets. Corposalo is 5-5 five five with a 3-2-4 goals against and an 8-9-0 save percentage. Fleury on the other side for Vegas, 8-3-1 on the year, 2-5-1 goals against, 9-2-0 save percentage. The Golden Knights are 8-5-2 overall for the year, 4-2 away from home. Mark Stone has 8 goals, 10 assists, 18 points for the Golden Knights. William Carlson has 10 assists, 14 points for Vegas. Carlson's also plus 5 on the year. Vegas is in the top 5 in offensive shots, top 5 in goals allowed on the road. The Blue Jackets on the other side, they're right in the middle of a four-game losing streak. 0-4 straight up in their last four games. They're just 5-6-3 and three overall for the year. Dubinsky, Tashere, Murray still out indefinitely for Columbus. The Blue Jackets are also ranking in the bottom five in home scoring. They're also 6-2 and two to the under at home. I'm going to lean Golden Knights minus $1.40 in the under six goals in that game. Next matchup, Hurricanes, Flyers, 7 o'clock, South Philly. The Hurricanes are minus 115, total 6.5. 67% of the consensus are leaning toward Carolina. 73% shaded toward the over. Right now, Philadelphia is minus 105 on the money line. Carolina plus 210 on the puck line. We have Peter Mrazek for Carolina. Carter Hart for Philadelphia. Hart's 3-3-1 three, three and one on the year with a 3-2-3 three, three goals against and an 8-6-7 save percentage. Peter Morazic on the other side, 7-1-2 on the year, 2-3-3 three, three goals against, 9-15 save percentage. Carolina's 9-4-1 overall for the year, third place in the Metropolitan Division. They rank in the top 10 in scoring, top 5 in shots allowed. They're led by Eric Halla, who's got 8 goals on the year, 3 assists, 11 points. Dougie Hamilton's got 16 points on the year as well. Six goals, 10 assists for him. Slavin and Hamilton both are plus nine on the year for Carolina. Now the Flyers on the other side, losers in three out of their last four. They rank in the bottom 10 in goals allowed. They've also dropped six out of their last nine games as the official Vegas underdog. Lawton is still out indefinitely for the Flyers. Total wise, Carolina. They're holding their opponents to just 2.2 goals per contest in their last four. I'm going to lean Hurricanes minus 115 in the under 6.5 in that game. Next matchup, Senators, Islanders, 7 o'clock, Long Island. New York's minus 260, total at 6. No movement on this total as of yet. We did see a 10-cent fade of New York in the early wagering. The Islanders open 270, down to 260, total 6. 77% are leaning Islanders, 54% shaded toward the under. Right now, Ottawa's plus 220 on the money line. The Islanders catching even money on the puck line. We have Semyon Varlamov for the Islanders, Craig Anderson for the Senators. Anderson's just 2-5 and five with a 309 goals against. Varlamov on the other side for New York, 5-2-1 and one on the year, 214 goals against, 929 save percentage. The Senators are just 4-8-1 and one overall for the year. 1-5 straight up when traveling. Ottawa ranks, uh, well, they don't rank. They are in 7th place in the Atlantic Division with just 9 points. They're also 15 points back of 1st place in that division. Ottawa ranks in the bottom 5 in road scoring. Bottom 5 in shots allowed. Colin White still in the IR with that groin. Now the Islanders on the other side, they are red hot right now. Hottest team in hockey. They're right in the middle of a nine-game winning streak. They're also 10-3 straight up overall for the year. They're in second place in the Metropolitan Division. 20 points overall for the year, just five points back of first place. They're led by Matthew Barzel. Six goals, five assists, 11 points for him. Josh Bailey also has six assists, five goals, 11 points as well. Beauvillier and Letty are both plus six for the Islanders uh, when it comes to that plus-minus uh, margin. 
And when it comes to this Islander squad, they rank in the top five in goals allowed. Everly and Kamarov are listed as questionable for New York. Total-wise, Ottawa on the other side, 7-5 and 1 to the over, 67% to the over on the road. I'm going to lean Islanders minus 1.5 in the over six goals in that game before we go ahead and move on just want to take a quick time out and welcome you to the show got some lines and personal leans out for tuesday's nhl action but before we dive into some more of that i just want to quickly remind you to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash brock page now here on youtube we handicap each and every game on the entire slate that is unreasonable if you're betting those games. You cannot bet each and every game and expect to win money. The books are too good. What we do on Patreon is we nail down my premium personal plays, plays that I personally have action on. I'm letting you know about them right there on that website. We have a bunch of different memberships, tiers, and packages that you can subscribe to beginning at just $1.99 per month. There's also... Plenty of free content there as well, including my current record right there on the homepage. Link for that site is in the description section below. That is patreon.com slash Brock Page. All right, let's go ahead and dive back into some more lines of personal leans right here on YouTube. All starts Eastern Standard Time. And on deck, we've got the LA Kings taking on the Toronto Maple Leafs. And that's going to be a 730 puck drop in Toronto. The Leafs are 225. Total six and a half. We saw a 15 cent fade of Toronto in the early wagering. The Leafs open 240 down the minus 225. Total six and a half. 84% are leaning Toronto. 61% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Kings are plus 185 on the money line. Toronto minus 105 on the puck line. We have Freddie Anderson for Toronto. Johnny Quick for Los Angeles. Johnny Quick's just two and six with a 455 goals against and an 858 save percentage. Meanwhile, Anderson on the other side for Toronto, 7-2 on the year, 3-0-0 goals against, 9-0-4 save percentage. The Kings are just 5-9 overall for the year, 10 points total, 7th place in the Pacific Division. They're 12 points back of Edmonton for first place. The Kings have lost four out of their last five games. They also rank in the bottom five in goals allowed on average per game. Toronto on the other side, completely different story. They rank in the top 10 in scoring. They held their opponents to just over three goals per game in their last four. Austin Matthews has 11 goals, five assists, 16 points on the year. Mitch Marner, 13 assists, 17 points as well. Ilya Mikiev, plus eight on the year for Toronto. Now total-wise, Toronto 10 of five to the over. They're also 67% to the over at home. The Kings on the other side, 9-4-1 and one to the over for the season. 5-1-1 one and one to the over on the road. Give me Toronto, minus one and a half. In the over six and a half goals in that game. Next matchup: Bruins, Canadians, seven thirty, Montreal. The Canadians are minus one fifteen. Totals at six. No movement on the total. We did see a flip of the lines in this one. A seventeen cent move toward Montreal. The Canadians open plus one hundred two. Now minus one fifteen. Totals at six. Sixty five percent are leaning Boston. Sixty seven percent shaded toward the over. Right now, Boston is minus 105 on the money line. Montreal plus 210, laying the goal and a half. We have Carey Price for Montreal, Tuka Rask for Boston. Rask is 7 0 2 with a 149 goals against and a 947 save percentage. Boston's 11 1 2 overall for the season, 4 1 1 away from home. They beat Pittsburgh last night 6 4 which by default means they are in the second of a back-to-back -back today. Uh, regardless of that, Boston 6-0 straight up in their last six. Nice little win streak for them. They rank in the top five in goals allowed. They're led by Drew Pasternak, who's having one heck of a season. 14 goals for him, 15 assists, 29 total points for Pasternak. Brad Marchand right behind him with 28 points total, 10 goals, 18 assists for him. Bergeron's plus 11, Chara's plus 13. Boston's in first place in the Atlantic Division, 24 points total, 4 points ahead of Buffalo. Montreal on the other side, 7-5-2 overall, 8 points back of Boston in the division. They're also winning just 33% of their games played at the current market price. Total-wise, Montreal 67% to the under at home. I'm going to lean Bruins minus 105 in the under 6 goals in that game. Next matchup, Devils, Jets, 8 o'clock Winnipeg. The Jets are minus 135, total 6.5. 
We saw a nickel fade of Winnipeg in the early betting. Winnipeg opened 140, down to 135. Total 6.5, 72% are leaning Jets, 67% shaded toward the over. Right now, New Jersey is plus 120 on the money line. Winnipeg plus 175 on the puck line. We have Connor Hellebuck for Winnipeg. Schneider for the Devils. Schneider's 0-3 on the year, 471 goals against 847 save percentage. Connor Hellebuck on the other side for the Jets, 6-5-1 on the year, 257 goals against 927 save percentage. Winnipeg's 8-7 overall for the season, 3-1 straight up in their last four. Nick Ellers has 7 goals, 14 points. Pat Line, 11 assists, 14 points for him. And Mark Scheifele, 15 points total, 5 goals, 10 assists. Now New Jersey on the other side, losers in three out of their last four. They're just 3-5-4 and four overall for the season. Last place in the Metropolitan Division, 15 points back in that division. Jasper Brott is questionable for tonight's action. Will Butcher is still out indefinitely for New Jersey. When it comes to the total, Winnipeg 8-6-1 and one to the under. They're also 4-2-1 and one to the under at home. I'm going to lean Jets minus 135 in the under six and a half in that game. Next matchup, Avalanche, Stars, 830 Dallas. The Stars are minus 135, total five and a half. Nickel fade of Dallas in the early wagering. The Stars open 140, down to 135, totals five and a half. 60% are leaning Dallas, 85% shaded toward the over. Right now, the Avalanche are plus 115 on the road. Dallas plus 190, laying the goal and a half. Ben Bishop for Dallas. Phil Grubauer for the Avalanche. Grubauer 6-2 with a 2.68 goals against and a 9.18 save percentage. Ben Bishop on the other side for Dallas, just 4-5 and five on the year. Dallas is 7-8-1 overall for the season. Fifth place in the Central. They're six points back of St. Louis. They're also... Ranking in the bottom five in scoring, bottom five in offensive shots. Sakara is questionable with an upper body injury. Como and Dickinson still on the injured reserve. Now Colorado on the other side, 8-4-2 and two overall for the season. Top five in scoring. Nate McKinnon has eight goals, 10 assists, 18 total points. Kale McCarr, eight, uh, 10 assists, 11 points for him. And defenseman Ian Cole is plus nine on the season for Colorado. Now the Avalanche, 8-5-1 to the over thus far on the year. 4-3 to the over on the road. I'm going to lean toward the road dog in this one. Give me Colorado plus $1.15 in the over 5.5 in that game. Next matchup, Coyotes, Flames, 9 o'clock Calgary. The Flames are minus 160, totals 5.5. Saw a nickel move toward Calgary in the early betting. The Flames open $1.55 up to $160, totals 5.5, 72% are leaning Calgary, 86% shaded toward the over. Right now, Arizona's plus 145 on the money line, Calgary plus $1.60, laying the goal and a half. We have David Riddick for the Flames, anti Ranta for Arizona. Ranta's 2 and 1 with a 296 goals against and a 914 save percentage. Arizona's 9-4-1 overall for the season, 5-2-1 on the road, 8-2 straight up in their last 10. The Coyotes rank in the top five in goals allowed on average per game. They're also top five in shots allowed on the road. They're led by Nick Schmaltz, 9 assists, 13 points for him. Connor Garland, 7 goals, 2 assists for him as well. Now Calgary on the other side, 8-7-2 overall for the season, 2-3 straight up in their last five. They're in sixth place in the Pacific Division. They rank in the bottom 10 in scoring. Now, total-wise, we're looking at a Calgary team who's 3-2-1 to the over at home. I'm going to lean toward Arizona, plus 1.5 in the over, 5.5 in that game. Next matchup, Blackhawks, Sharks, 10 o'clock San Jose. The Sharks are 165, total 6.5. We saw a nickel move towards San Jose. The Sharks open $1.60, up to minus 165, total 6.5. 60% are leaning San Jose, 61% shaded toward the under. Right now, the Blackhawks are plus 140 on the money line. San Jose plus $1.65, laying the goal and a half. We have Martin Jones for San Jose, Crawford for the Blackhawks. Now, if you like Martin Jones in this matchup for San Jose, he's just 2-7 and seven on the year, 3-5-2, goals against, 8-8-7, save percentage. The Sharks have lost their last straight, uh, last five straight games. They're also just one and seven straight up in their last eight. 
The Sharks are 4-10 and 1 overall for the year, last place in the Pacific Division. They also rank in the bottom five in scoring, bottom five in goals allowed. Jake Middleton still out indefinitely for San Jose. Now Chicago on the other side, winners in two out of their last four. Patrick Kane has eight assists, four goals, 12 points total on the year. Now total wise, Chicago, 8-4 and 1 to the under. They're also 60% to the under when traveling. Give me the Blackhawks, plus one and a half in the under, six and a half in that matchup. Next game, Wild Ducks, 10 o'clock Anaheim. The Ducks are 135, totals five and a half. 55% leaning toward Anaheim, 83% shaded toward the over. Right now, Minnesota's plus 115 on the money line. Anaheim plus 195, laying the goal and a half. We have John Gibson for the Ducks, Devin Dubnik for Minnesota. Dubnik's 2-6 and six with a 3-6-8 goals against and an 8-8-3 save percentage. John Gibson on the other side for the Ducks, 2-5-0 goals against, 9-2-6 save percentage. Anaheim's 9-6-1 on the year, 6-1-1 one one at home. They rank in the top five in goals allowed at home. Silverberg and Getzlaff have seven goals apiece. Ricard Raquel, six assists, nine points. He's also plus 11 for Anaheim. Now, Minnesota on the other side, losers in four out of their last five. They're in last place in the Central Division, 5-3-1 and one to the under. Give me Anaheim, minus $1.35. And the under five and a half in that game. And we're going to slide into our next and final matchup for the show. It is going to be Blues, Canucks, 10 o'clock, Vancouver. The Canucks are minus 130, totals five and a half. Now we saw a nickel move toward Vancouver and movement downward on the total. The Canucks open a buck and a quarter, up to minus 130, total open six, down to five and a half. 57% are leaning Vancouver, 75% shaded toward the over. Right now, St. Louis is plus 110 on the money line. The Canucks are plus 215, laying the goal and a half. We have Jake Markstrom for the Canucks, Jordan Bennington for the Blues. Now, if you like Markstrom in this matchup here between the pipes, he's 5-2 and two straight up on the year, 2-5-1 goals against, 9-17 save percentage for Vancouver. The Canucks are 4-0-1 at home. They rank in the top five in scoring, top 10 in goals allowed. Elias Peterson, uh, 20 points for him, 6 goals, 14 assists. Brock Bozer, 9 assists, 7 goals, 16 points as well. And defenseman Jordy, uh, <coughs> excuse me, Jordy Ben, plus 8 on the year for Vancouver. Now St. Louis on the other side, bottom 5 in offensive shots. Tarashenko's out and definitely still. And when it comes to the total, St. Louis 4-3 and three to the over on the road. Vancouver, 75% to the over at home. I'm going to lean Canucks, minus $1.30. In the over five and a half in that game. All right, let's go ahead and slide into our quick pick recap brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page. I got Vancouver minus 130 over five and a half. Anaheim minus 135 under five and a hook. Chicago plus one and a half under six and a hook. Arizona plus one and a half over five and a hook. Colorado plus 115 over five and a hook. Winnipeg minus 135 under six and a hook. Toronto minus one and a half over six and a hook. Boston minus 105 under six goals. Vegas Golden Knights minus 140 under six goals. Islanders minus one and a half over six goals. And last but certainly not least, I like Carolina minus a dollar fifteen and the under six and a half in that game. All right, let's go ahead and dive into some shout outs brought to you by patreon.com slash Brock Page. Shout out to Saw Sensei Master Drip Lord. Shout out to Carson De Savage, Mark Z, Lee Walker, Vernon Williard, Square 707, Steam PS4. Shout out to Sean O'Neill, Dante Carter, Danny J, Ken Cunningham, Munchy Crunchy. Shout out to Pittsburgh Gentleman PA. Shout out to Ulysses Hayes, Stephen Lewis. You call me dad. Shout out to Arthur Mead Jr. And last but certainly not least, shout out to Sean Mejias. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me. Once again, don't forget to check me out on my website at patreon.com slash rockpage. Now, right here on YouTube, we handicap the entire slate of NHL action. We make a pick on the side and the total on every single game. Guys, that is not reasonable to make money in sports betting. What we do on Patreon is we knock down just a few select picks. Those are my premium personal plays. Those are plays that I personally have action on, and I tell you what they are right on 
patreon.com slash brock page we have a bunch of different memberships tiers and packages that you can subscribe to beginning at just one dollar and 99 cents per month you can also access my current record for free right on the home page all you got to do is click the link in the description section below that is patreon.com slash brock page but most importantly guys i gotta thank you for watching me right here on youtube i really hope you enjoyed all this great free content all this great free information happy tuesday to you best of luck to you and don't forget to check me out on patreon.com slash brockpage.